Hey, yo, what's up guys, Zaid here. So today I wanna to talk about health. My wife encouraged me to do something called Vlogmas. I didn't know much about it, but it's basically vlogging throughout Christmas. I did not know about this, even though I've been a YouTuber for now four or five years. And today I wanted to talk about health. I wanted to talk about this because this is something I think we tend to overlook. Today I was at the gym and I was just doing my workouts and uh, it hit me. I have good health. And I know that sounds a little odd to be thinking about that at the gym, but as you guys know, if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time that I have had many injuries in the past. I've had shoulder injuries, I've had hip injuries, I have had <laughs> knee injuries. I'm currently dealing or babying a previously existing knee injury. And with my Olympic lifting and my Muay Thai and all that, I really want to dial it in. So it's been something I've been working on. One of the reasons why I was thinking about this as I was at the gym was because a lot of good things has happened to me this year, even though there's been several downs. Uh, I'm very, I'm very happy. And uh, I don't say this much. I really don't use this word at all, but I think I'm, I'm really blessed <laughs> in many ways. If you guys have watched my videos, you guys might have known that this year, a lot of things happened in regards uh, to my life. One of the big things was both my mom and my dad fell into the hospital and my mom passed away. So it was because of poor health, you know, so it dawned on me as I was at the gym, you know, I, I currently have good health. My dad is luckily doing a lot better, but he is still struggling with some stuff. So I... I still think about it quite a bit, you know? I tend to forget with, with all the things that are happening in life, you know, you tend to forget the, the simple things, the things that, that really matter, I think. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to make a couple of vlogs throughout Christmas, you know, Vlogmas. Uh, I think this is why I wanted to talk about health because I know I tend to forget that I am in really good health. I'm sure I might be dealing with some injuries here and there, but they're nothing serious, you know? They're nothing deadly in, in a sense. I like to think about it in the sense that I'm doing okay, but more importantly, my loved ones are doing okay, you know? My dad's doing okay, and even though my mom's not here anymore, um, it could have been a lot worse. Her situation could have been a lot worse, and it could have been a lot more painful if she would have had even poorer health. So it's not very, I, I, I still don't feel 100% to talk about that situation. I will do it in a future video, hopefully. Um, like I said, she passed away, and uh, another thing is, my brother, my youngest brother, he's doing okay. He was going through a situation where he thought his health might have not been the best, but luckily it is, you know, and he's doing okay. My sister, she has uh, decent health at the moment and she's doing better. And because of all the situations that have happened in this past year, we have all gotten a little bit more into our health. So. Uh, I know she's doing a lot better than she was at the beginning of the year. She's currently dealing with psoriasis and a couple of other things, but her psoriasis is clearing up a little bit more. So that's, I'm super thankful for that. But something that I'm also super thankful for is my wife. She's doing really well. And for all those of you who don't know, well, I haven't mentioned it. It's been, I just had a daughter three months ago, actually nine weeks, uh, nine weeks yesterday. I had my first daughter, her name's Elena. I've never said her name anywhere else, so uh, this is the first. And uh, a lot of things could have gone wrong that day. My wife's pregnancy, like her all, all the nine months of pregnancy and her giving birth made me realize how wrong things could go in a moment. Like it, we're here right now and sometimes we don't think about how fast things, like how fast life can change. And when I was in there, in the delivery room, watching my, my daughter being born, a lot of things started going wrong. And for some reason, uh, you know, uh, we ended up being okay on the other side. You know, my wife had a little bit of a hemorrhage. So actually it was a pretty big hemorrhage. And once my wife had Elena, the doctors immediately handed her over to my wife. And then I was on the other side, you know, seeing what was happening. And uh, the doctor saw that a lot of blood was coming out and it was very daunting to see the situation. The doctor responded in a very 
nervous way, which got me a little bit nervous. But beyond that, I I asked the doctor immediately, is everything okay? Because I saw her preoccupied face and mind you, this doctor has been doing deliveries, two to three deliveries minimum a day for like past 15, 18 years, something like that. That's what she, that's what she said. And she got a little worried. So I was a little worried watching her be worried. So immediately she goes ahead and starts handling everything. But she says, I'm gonna need help. And she calls another uh, doctor and he immediately comes into the room. He starts taking over the situation real quick. He's like, hey, what's going on? And, and I ask him, is everything okay? because my wife was preoccupied with the baby and that's when she started asking me, babe, is everything okay? And I was I was there to not worry her, you know? I said, everything's gonna be okay, but shit could have turned sideways real quick, you know? There's no better way of saying it. Things could have gone very wrong real quick and I was there to just let her know everything's okay, you know? The other surgeon that came in, he came in and he was like, don't worry about it he gets he gets to it stops stops the hemorrhage completely and everything's good to go but my wife lost a lot of blood again things could have gone horribly wrong in in the blink of an eye but they didn't and uh i think that's something to be very thankful for again i don't think i think about it enough but that's why i wanted to make this blog you know i wanted to kind of reflect on that a little bit I'm, I'm very happy for my health, but more importantly, I'm very happy for my wife's health currently at the moment. And another thing that I'm very health, uh, thankful for is Elena, um, my daughter. She came out perfect. She came out eight pounds and nine ounces, super healthy baby. She's beautiful. And I don't know if my wife wants to let me get, put her on camera. Is that okay, babe? Will you be okay with that? Yeah, just her cheeks. <laughs> One second. Elena. So her name's Elena. Her second name's Nairobi. That way she can go ahead and pick and choose whatever, whichever one she likes the most. So this is the first time that I'm going to show her. And I'm kind of, at this point, you guys are a little bit like family. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. How are Mira, say hello to the camera, Elena. She's my chunky little monkey. Uh, again, I'm super thankful for this. Uh, say hello, Elena. Mira. Hola, you hola, papa. Hola. Hola, say hi to everybody. Oh. Yeah, so, again. <laughs> She's a little shell shocked right now. Ay, mi sanguito. Oh, no. <laughs> she wanted to be on camera longer. <laughs> again, um, I'm super thankful that she's that she's doing great. She was super healthy. There hasn't been any complications. There was just, you know, the typical first time dad scares that we get. There was this one time where we thought that she was not breathing. <laughs> so that was a big scare, but that was us as parents just being a little bit, um, uh, I guess, I wouldn't say over preoccupied, but it was us being over preoccupied. <laughs> but yeah, uh, she's doing great. She's growing right now. She's. 15 no she's how many inches babe 20 no she's like 24 inches she's like 24 inches so she's super long i think she's gonna be taller than me so that's that's actually pretty cool so babe i got some questions <laughs> she's growing super fast mom's breastfeeding and again a lot of things could have gone even wrong with that you know i know a lot of moms can't breastfeed a lot of moms have to use formula uh, but we we stuck to it. My wife really stuck to it, and uh, she got really good at breastfeeding. You know, the latching situation and a couple of other things. It can get pretty complicated. You know, being a parent, first time parent, is it can be a little bit overwhelming, especially if you don't have the support. I'm super thankful for my my wife's health, my baby's health, my overall family's health. My mom, even though she didn't get to see my daughter, you know, uh, I'm, I'm again. Life has its ways of, of taking away and at the same time giving. And I think that's what happened with my with my mom, you know? She's no longer here with us, but seven months later, my daughter Elena is here and she's in perfectly good health. So uh, I guess that's, I guess what you can, what you call a silver lining. I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy that I can still do all the exercises that I do, all the crazy shit that I do at the gym. 
Uh, I'm still happy that I, I can still run a marathon. I can still do my Olympic lifting. I can do my Muay Thai archery. I can play my instrument, my trombone. And hopefully with even better health, I can see my both my wife and my young daughter grow and have that health long enough to be able to see them both thrive, you know? So this is a little bit of a different video, guys, but I really think it, I, I, I've been wanting to do a series like this. And for Vlogmas, <laughs> vlogging in Christmas, Vlogmas, that's, I really, this is really the first time I hear about it. So uh, I'm happy that I'm doing this and hopefully I shed some light on, on, on what's been going on in my life. And I'll be bringing a couple of more within the next couple of days. That way you guys can maybe switch it up from all the gossip that's been going around right now on the on daddy liver king and all the other guys uh because <laughs> that's definitely a crazy situation something that's happening super thankful super happy to be here uh super happy to be enjoying a good life have good health so thanks for joining me in another episode guys hope all your families are doing well and are healthy stay safe guys peace <laughs>